was and I can't remember the circumstances but I must have heard somewhere somebody say that everyone could remember where they were when President John F. Kennedy had been assassinated on the 22nd of November in 1963 and I was fascinated by that so I remember asking my mum and then my dad if they could remember where they had been and they both could and um, I was amazed at it that um, somebody could remember exactly what they were doing exactly where they were when something happened I was amazed by it until the 11th of September 2001 because I know exactly where I was when I first heard about the attack on the Twin Towers in New York. I was coming out of the petrol station at Tesco's on uh, along the waterfront in Dundee. I had been in to see somebody at Nine Wells Hospital and I had stopped at Tesco's to get petrol and as I was coming out I switched on the radio in the car and that's when I first heard. And then I went to visit somebody in Wormit, a lady called Linda Malik, and she had her television on and I watched. It, uh, it really was a, a life-changing experience, um, if I can say that, but I mean that not for myself, I mean that for the world, I think. Um, it marked the end of a a certain age of innocence that had maybe come in, a hope, after the Berlin Wall had come down and um, apartheid had ended in South Africa, that things would, you know, the world was on the right curve, that we were on the up. And then, uh, and then these events, 2,996 people, something like that, died. Anyway, today's the anniversary, 19 years, can't believe it, 19 years since those events. really is still struggling with so many different things, uh, so many different issues, with so much tension, with so much aggression, so much anger. But today I remember those events, I remember exactly what I was doing. I'm sure many of you are the same. And I pray that the world will move on, I pray that the world will learn, I pray that the uh, the situation will cease and people will leave the old hatreds and the old angers and the old resentments behind and, and we can do what we all want to do which is get on with one another and that's my prayer for today that we can all get on with one another and remember the things that connect and not the things that keep us apart have a good day this 11th of September 2020. Have a good day. God bless. Take care. Keep well.